Ten, a father and son swept away in the Merrimack River, are presumed drowned tonight. Good evening, I'm Shelley Walcott. Bosquin police say the father jumped in to save the boy who was struggling in a fast current and neither resurfaced. The mother and a younger child witnessed the possible drownings and called 911. Our Adam Sexton is live in Boscoin tonight with our top story. Adam. Well, Shelley, barely 72 hours removed from Father's Day, a dad undertook heroic action to try to save his son here in the Merrimack River, and tonight it appears that both of them have drowned. This area under the Route 4 bridge is a popular swimming spot, but when the water is high, it can be very dangerous. Bosco and police say a family of four was enjoying their Wednesday evening on this sandbar in the Merrimack River when a child got too far out into the current. The son, 10 years old, was out in the water, starting to struggle. The father went in the water to help the son. The son went under the water, and the mother lost sight of the father as well. First responders transported the distraught mother and a younger child to the hospital for observation. The family's coffee and water still sitting in the sand. The sudden tragedy drew dozens of first responders from the capital region to join the search. Crews and boats moved methodically back and forth against the current, but were unable to find anything. First thing, we'll uh, have the dive team show up. We'll get some boats in the water, and we'll have uh, about eight divers show up. New Hampshire Fish and Game says the currents here are fast and swirling. We have unfortunately dove here in the past, um, so we're familiar with it. But it is uh, fairly deep, um, and it is very cloudy, and it's flowing. Uh, Pretty heavily from the recent rains. As darkness fell, distraught relatives of the family showed up to talk to police. With Marine Patrol and Fire Department boats visible from the Route 4 bridge, many others stopped to find out what happened. This is very sad. It's very tragic. I hurt for the family. Making the currents here even more unpredictable is the fact that this is where the Kentucky River joins the Merrimack, and it does so at a very odd angle, sort of creating a whirlpool effect, if you will. Local first responders say there's also a lot of underwater debris that builds up here. Recovery efforts will resume in the morning. Reporting live in Bosco and Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.